Sorry about that. Push the wrong button. So let me um, go back to sharing the screen. That was crazy. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to uh, make you watch two videos now, but good thing you'll be able to do that, right? Okay, so again, we're back to our problem. It says, how much of each ingredient is in each gorilla serving? So we have to, at this point, um, look at them, right? So we know that this right here is for eight. We can't just say, oh, 32 carats, right? So what would my equation be? It's going to be your item divided by four, right? That's kind of how we're going to, no, not four, eight. Right? So we have to go take our how many by eight. Right? So when we look at um, here, each of these answers up here, we have to um, divide by eight. Okay? Now, I'm not, it wants you to write an equation for each of them. I'm not going to make you do that. That's a lot of equations. So we, you just have to divide them by eight. All right? So let's look. So we have 32 carats divided by eight. So what is 32 divided by eight? So we have what? Four carats. How many oranges? All right, four oranges. 24 divided by eight is three apples. What else do we have? We have uh, 64 ounces monkey chow. So what would that be? It'd be 64 divided by eight is eight ounces monkey chow. How many ounces of primate food? 48 divided by eight, so what's six ounces primate food eight divided by one is a one head of lettuce okay then we go to the next one you have eight divided by one again one yam one egg two bananas 70 was 72 divided by eight yeah nine good nine grapes 56 divided by 8 is 7 celery and doesn't tell us how many bales, it's just bales, right? So it has to be bales of grass. We'll just say grass. We don't have to write out every single word that's up there, right? Okay, so this is how much one would make, okay? So this is eight, this is one. So what do we have to do now? It says how much of each ingredient of the gorilla stew is needed to make six gorillas? So if this is for one, how would I figure out how many for six? Yes, you are right. You would multiply each of these by six. And number two is your secret question for the day. You are actually going to put this answer, which is six times larger than this answer, into the chat after the math um, lesson. All right. So that's what you're going to do is you're going to put your answer there of how much would six gorillas food, um, how much food is needed for six gorillas. All right. So uh, make sure you do that. Okay, now here we go. Favorite zoo animals. A third grade class took a class trip to the zoo. So students were asked to name their favorite zoo animal. The pictograph below shows the animals that you animals chose. And it uh, looks like your sounds like your teachers have done a good job because I've not been able to trick you yet on these. So we look here, we have these smiley faces, right? So a bear, favorite zoo animal. We have one bear, two bear, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven people like the bear better, right? And of course, you know the answer is no, because we have to look for the key, right? Remember the key right here helps tell us how many each of those uh, smiley faces stand for, and each of those smiley faces stand for seven. Okay, remember it's not seven students in all or 
So one, two, three, four, five, seven. It's seven times seven. Okay, so seven times seven is 49. Seven times, how many elephants are there? Eight, right? So seven times eight is 56. Okay, go ahead and finish this chart here. And um, you could do number four on your own. 63 students choose a zebra as their favorite zoo animal. How many symbols would you use to show? So you're gonna draw the, the smiley faces down here to show that. And I know that you guys can do that. Um, I'm not gonna do that for you, um, but make sure you take a picture of that and turn it in. So it is kind of an easy lesson today, but I would encourage you to spend the extra time that you have of practicing more with your multiplication because I know for a fact that the particular um, lesson test unit for this is not um, easy when it comes to the multiplication facts. Lots of sixes, lots of sevens, lots of eights, okay? That's because that's the focus of our chapter. So please be studying that and um, have a good rest of the afternoon. Take care.